Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we will be having a look at this new Oppo Flip smartphone. And guys if you recall I am not uh, showing you the unboxing because I wanted to actually give you an idea how is the smartphone. So now I have used it for about three and a half days. So it's just not the unboxing but my initial impressions what do I feel about this uh, smartphone. So this is the box that we get the Oppo Find N2 Flip and again it's a pretty big box and the presentation was very uh, nicely done. If you open uh, the phone actually uh, was kept like this so it just uh, comes like this so the presentation is nice and, and underneath if we go uh, we are getting a 80 watt uh, that book charger uh, but the charging speed on this phone is 44 watts which is again uh, the highest on a flip uh, smartphone uh, this is the charging cable type uh, a to type c and uh, here we have a pamphlet and the case i have the case over on the side so i'll just put this to the side for now and we also get this uh, plastic uh, kind of a case uh, that you can put on uh, this one so uh, again i like it that they are bundling this thing uh, within the box uh, so again you have that uh, sort of a protection and the big thing about this one yes this is a flip smartphone but if you notice the outer cover screen let me just zoom in is massive on this one this is actually 3.26 inch uh, screen and you can do a lot more uh, compared to other flip for example this is a samsung uh, flip 4 and here also the cover screen is there but again if you notice how small it is and uh, uh, immediately uh, once i opened this uh, smartphone the thing that surprised me is that the crease let me just open one of the apps is hardly visible that is something that actually really liked on this uh, smartphone if you notice uh, the crease is actually uh, i've al been also a user of this uh, uh, what do you say samsung's um, uh, flip 4 and um, here if i go if you notice the crease is a lot more visible on uh, this smartphone here again the crease is almost not visible the biggest compliment i can give is that uh, when i was just using the phone i've been using it past two three years uh, when i was seriously just doing my work on all this thing i completely forgot for some time that this is a flippable smartphone uh, in normal circumstances you hardly notice the flip and even when you scroll it's not as intrusive i would say so they have done a really good job uh, on this uh, one and uh, Again, the hinge mechanism is good. This is a new hinge mechanism and Oppo claims uh, that uh, it, you can open it and shut for about 4 lakh times. That they say, again, this is a review unit and the review guide, they said that this is typically if you use the phone 100 times every day, open it, shut it, all this thing, it should last for over 10 years. And again, let me first give you a physical overview. And I also like the fact that this is the first smartphone, in, at least in India, that is coming with the flagship MediaTek uh, Diamond City 9000 Plus chipset so i was also very curious what's the performance of that chip so i will also show you some benchmarks and stuff in fact it's actually a very very good uh, chipset that they've used okay first uh, for the physical uh, overview uh, the outer screen let's start with the outer screen this is a 3.2 inch screen you actually have to uh, unlock it if you see i like that uh, that uh, nobody can um, you might have sensitive information or stuff stuff like that and you have the fingerprint scanner over here and once you press that it unlocks and you have a bunch of widgets i'll uh, give you an idea uh, that uh, you can use these this is the timer widget and all these things so this is your calendar if you have events uh, we have a recorder and again if you have wireless earphones uh, that will actually show you so you have a couple of widgets over here and you can also use the uh, front camera in fact the main camera uh, again all it has three cameras two over here and one internal and all the three cameras are actually by uh, actually sony sensors and the primary is a 50 megapixel this has ois and again uh, the camera tuning is done by hasselblad and i would say for a flip phone the camera performance is good i'll show you some of the sample shots later on but again uh, you can also use the uh, front camera from here uh, as you can see now it's using this one and you can take the photo and video so uh, those options are available to you you can even shoot the video uh, from here and uh, of course, uh, if you open it up, uh, uh, you get this one. And again, you, the internal camera here is a 32 megapixel. Uh, the second camera is ultra wide and this is actually 8 megapixel uh, but again it's a good quality one because that is also a sony sensor again as i've told you uh, by default it will be locked like this and you can press this and unlock it and if you swipe from the bottom like this uh, your notifications you can actually read here uh, from there for example uh, here as you can see i just uh, and i can reply 
to it with canned messages. As of now, keyboard is not supported, but you can have a custom canned messages over here. You can set this and you can use it. And also you can use emoji. So uh, I wish they had a swipe kind of a keyboard here, but that's what it is as of now. In fact, for this uh, uh, notifications and widgets, they are actually adding a little bit because what uh, initially when this phone was launched, uh, it didn't have that much functionality. In fact, if you go over here and we have a cover setting, foldable features, if you go, we have cover screen in style. And here you have a lot of options that you can tweak and even the widgets that you can actually show. And uh, we have a more button here. So I'm assuming with software updates, they will add more widgets and stuff uh, because I also saw uh, that now Swiggy, etc. will be supported on the front screen. So I feel they should add a lot more apps here. And I think so they will do that with future updates. So definitely I feel uh, this is a nice uh, big size uh, cover screen and you can use it uh, a lot for notification and stuff. And I feel they should add a little bit more functionality. Uh, now moving to the inner screen, this is actually a 6.8 inch screen. And uh, guys, uh, again, I like the fact that this is again a AMOLED screen. And again, uh, this is a LTPO screen uh, with the refresh rates up to 120 Hertz. And it can go down to uh, uh, the one Hertz to conserve power. In fact, the battery life also was actually pretty good. I'll, I'll talk about that later. But overall, in terms of screen, I would say I'm liking the screen quality on uh, this one. And again, as you notice the hinge, uh, the crease is so good that you don't actually have to worry about it. So that way, I even watched some videos on Netflix, etc. on this one, and the experience was actually good. Uh, Netflix is act actually, this was preloaded. And uh, the Netflix does support, if I go to app setting, if I go to playback set, it does support HDR. And uh, this is running over Color OS 13, which is basically Android 13. And like the fact that now with this smartphone, uh, Oppo is also promising next four years of Android upgrade. So that's actually a very good and five years of security update. So again, they're matching now Samsung, which was the best in the industry. So that's actually a really nice move. And again, uh, in India, as of now, we are getting it only in one variant that comes with 8 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage that is UFS 3.1. In fact, here are all the specs for your reference. And if you look at the specs, the specs are actually very, very good. It also has all the features like stereo speaker, Dolby Atmos, NFC, Bluetooth 5.3, etc. So that way, I would say for a flip phone, uh, uh, this is actually very well uh, spent and uh, a big thing that I liked about this one and again that comes down to the processor also the MediaTek Diamond City uh, 9000 plus uh, the battery uh, life that I was getting on this one as I've told you uh, I've used it for three and a half days and still my primary sim that is Airtel and, the, and yes 5G is working out of the box uh, because it's a Diamond City chipset both the sims uh, will support actually 5G now coming to the battery uh, this one is having a relatively a a lot larger battery compared to other flip phones this is actually having a 4300 milliamp hour battery and i think so this is the biggest uh, capacity battery on a flip phone uh, so again the battery life uh, was actually very good uh, it should easily last for a full typical uh, day without any issues and I could actually use it for over 24 hours almost 30 hours without any issues because even at night when I was leaving it the idle drain was very very low on this one in terms of screen on time with your typical usage you should get anywhere from about five to six hours of SOT which is actually very very good one of the best for a flip uh, smartphone that I have uh, used till date and also again the flip mechanism is also very good uh, Oppo calls this uh, hinge it has that Oppo brandy a flexion hinge and it's very good in fact uh, you can also oops sorry about that that's the problem if you have your primary sim inside uh, uh, people keep calling you but yeah again uh, that uh, brings me to the point that the uh, cellular call quality was also very good on this uh, smartphone phone i did not have any issues no proximity sensor issues or anything in fact the stereo speakers are also pretty good uh, let me actually uh, show you and this is a comfortable volume that i keep generally 70 percent but let's increase it to full this is the full i'll block this it's coming from the earpiece and from here so again, in terms of speaker quality also, uh, it was 
good earpiece quality was good i did not have a problem and as i was telling the battery life because of the relatively bigger capacity battery uh, for a flip phone i would say this is one of the best battery life that you can expect as of now easily should last for most of you for a full typical working day without giving that anxiety this is having the new mediatek diamond city 9000 plus and this is the flagship actually chipset uh, by mediatek it's based on the latest four nanometer process so again that's one of the best and again uh, this is also a octa core chipset it's actually divided into uh, i would say three parts uh, the first most powerful core that they actually called ultra core if i believe uh, is uh, the uh, x2 core cortex x2 is now clocked at 3.2 gigahertz apart from that we also have three more powerful cores uh, that is the arm cortex a70 those are actually clocked at 2.85 gigahertz so again it's very very powerful configuration and yes again we have the four efficiency cores that's why even at night uh, uh, the idle rain was uh, very low in fact uh, uh, even uh, when we uh, move to the is uh, that's very important for camera functions and all those things uh, this actually has an 18 bit isp with hdr functionality uh, i'll show you the camera samples later on and as you can see uh, this is the geekpen 6 and i got a single core performance of 1784 which i simply did not expect this means it's very very fast in single core performances which is very very important and in multi-core we got a score of 4484 very very healthy scores also i ran um, what do you say anto 2 on this one and we got a very impressive score over a million again uh, if you notice uh, even when i was running the benchmark the temperature of the phone did not increase significantly uh, that way i would say in my daily usage also regular usage the phone does not get excessively hot or something like that so that way it's good also the gpu is pretty good on this one i didn't do uh, i'm not a heavy gamer i did play call of duty for some time and i could play it almost at the highest settings without any issue you guys i'll lower the brightness in fact the brightness uh, though this is a flexible screen the brightness is actually very very good it, it can go up to 1600 nits in peak brightness so even outdoors uh, if you just keep it on auto brightness it's very very smooth and if you notice again because of that 120 hertz uh, refresh rate uh, 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 scrolling is also very very smooth on uh, this one again uh, needless to say the quality of the amulet screen that they have put is very good uh, with the camera uh, you can also use the outer screen also so that way it's nice so again the Overall, I would say if you always like the flip form factor, uh, Oppo has done a good job on this one. And also now I like the update cycle. Um, they are giving four next four years of Android upgrades on this. So overall, it's a, it's actually pretty nice. The only thing that I don't like is that pre-installed apps like hot apps and hot games and stuff like that. And this, the Candy Crush we can uninstall, but yeah, um, we can remove it and all these things happen for. But yeah, hot apps and other stuff are there. Now, uh, let's also talk a little bit about the camera and I'll uh, quickly show you some of the camera samples. I would say for selfies, yes, you can take obviously selfies from the internal camera, not a problem. And the uh, UI is very typical to OPPO uh, stuff. But again, uh, one more thing is that uh, if you notice, uh, I'm just uh, looking like this and I can press this button and in the preview now, it will give a preview if you notice uh, to the uh, whose photograph you are taking so he can also get an idea how you are taking the photograph so again they are utilizing the features of this front screen like this and again as i've told you for selfies yes uh, you can obviously even use this one and uh, it's not to say that the selfies are bad with the internal one but again this one again you can use it like this and you can get some pretty good uh, results with the selfie uh, so let me do one thing actually guys let me actually uh, uh, show you some of the sample shots that i've taken with this smartphone the main camera actually shoots pretty good pictures in outdoor condition this is a regular shot this was ultra wide again one more sample regular and ultra wide even ultra wide we do not have that color distortion we don't have a macro dedicated camera but i could get some very good shots with the main 50 megapixel camera now for some human subjects and again as you can see the color reproduction is actually really good and these were taken in the portrait bokeh mode this was shot with the 32 megapixel internal front facing camera and here i use the cover screen and the main 50 megapixel camera for selfies and that produces way better results some pics indoor in dull lighting conditions though this doesn't have a dedicated zoom lens i use the 2x zoom to get this shot of the cat pics taken just before the sunset and here also as you can see the results were actually pretty good and this was in the portrait bokeh mode even in this dull lighting conditions if you notice the ultra wide is also uh, producing good results 
सो गाइस दिस इज द ओप्पो फाइंड एन टू फ्लिप स्मार्टफोन वॉट डू यू फील अबाउट दिस स्मार्टफोन एंड गाइज वी हैव दई फॉट वी हैव द साइड माउंटेड फिंगर प्रिंट स्कैनर एंड दैट वर्क एक्चुअली प्रिटी वेल एज यू कैन सी एंड दिस इज अवेलेबल इन इंडिया ऑनलाइन ऑन फ्लिपकार्ट द रिटेल प्राइस वॉज अबाउट Ninety thousand, but uh, as of now, you can get five thousand off with various uh, credit cards. So it works out to about eighty-five thousand. And again, as it's an Oppo uh, smartphone, guys, I'm pretty sure this smartphone will also be available on a lot of offline uh, big stores. So again, if you're looking for this one, I would suggest go to a nearest offline store where you have this smartphone uh, for a demo and actually use it yourself for a uh, uh, five six minutes and get an idea how good this is for a flip. smartphone and definitely i would say if you always liked uh, the flip smartphones uh, you can have a look at uh, this one but would love to know your thoughts what do you feel about this oppo find n2 flip anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys